Ah, ah, apa. ah, singing and dancing. Mimi, apa, no, 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 no. My name is Eric, uh, born and raised in Nairobi. Family of five, I have an older brother, a younger sister. So I'm the middle born. Um, I love football. I'm an ambivert. I love God. I started playing football when I was four. My older brother introduced me to it. I started watching when I was about eight. Seven, eight, ever since then, I have loved football. I have played through all levels. After playing, I became a coach in campus. So football has been an intricate part of my life. I own 11 football jerseys. So I'm an, I am a true Manchester United fan. Suffering with them at the moment, but staying true to them. Father's Day to me is a very special day. Um, I have been blessed to have a very good earthly father. He's been very supportive. Um, I mentioned about football, I mean, he was my biggest supporter, taking me to, through all the games. So Father's Day to me represents support, protection and provision. I mean, even when I came for this interview, he is the one who brought me to this interview. And he's the one who drove me back home after the interview. So for me, Father's Day reminds me of support, protection, provision, yeah. Growing up with my dad was a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, it was good for a large part, except for when I misbehaved. Uh, very interesting, my dad has never beaten me actually, but he had this look on his face. He just used to do this, and it was, I, I got the memo. That was not every day, but it was, I'd say I've had a good relationship with him. Uh, it's one of the things I look back on and I'm very grateful for. Uh, I'd say he's been one of my best friends. Yeah, 2019, as when I was coaching football, uh, by this time I think I was, I was like 21, so I was a bit, I was a young man, but not very young as well. And the very last game that I coached, he came. And that for me was, was a big deal because, I mean, since my very first one when I was like nine, all through he came for all of them. So the fact that he came for my last one, yeah, that meant a big, a big deal. My second one was, would be class seven. Uh, class seven, I was going through a bit of a difficult moment and I remember he really, really encouraged me. Um, yeah, I wasn't doing too well in school at, the mo at that time, but one of the big reasons I got through it, yeah, was him. So those two, when I was 13, when I was 21, those two separate occasions, yeah. I want to be a dad, definitely. Like, I want to have like three or four children. Um, why I want to be a dad? Uh, because I want to, I want to have that relationship as well. What I've experienced, but now on the other side, because now I'm the parent. I mean, I've experienced being a child, now I want to experience the side of being a parent. Uh, I want to have responsibilities. It's a scary thing to ask, but I don't know if I will wish that in the next 10 years. But it's a challenge that I feel would be really fun. A bit scary, but really fun. Because who doesn't like a good challenge? So, yeah. How it comes, how they come, I'd be happy either way. Four girls, four boys, three girls, three boys, two girls, two boys, one girl, one boy. I, I've never really thought about it. I just know I'd like children. Yeah.